Hey dudes and dudettes, my friend Hannah started a brand new tag called the Concert Tag. So that's what we're gonna do today, talk about concerts. Let's roll to the questions. Question one. What is the first concert you attended? Ugh, well, the first concert I attended was probably some country show. I was so young, I can't remember, but I continued going to country shows because my mom would drag me to country shows all the time. My first, like, rock concert was the American Idiot Tour. I saw Green Day with New Found Glory and Sugar Cult. Awesome tour. Question two, most recent concert? Let's see, last weekend I attended um, a big festival here in Jacksonville called The Big Ticket. All right, stop right there. You should know that this is Past Justin. Past Justin is a little bit lazy and he totally didn't forget to edit this video two months ago, but he totally hasn't had time to edit this video in two months. So that means that Past Justin is currently a dirty round liar. The last show I attended was actually on February 5th, and it was the three-headed monster featuring headlining acts, the Ataris, Hawthorne Heights, and Mest, with supporting acts, handguns, and London falling. And I attended that in Atlanta, and that was freaking awesome. Anyways, everything he's about to say is completely true, and you should listen to him because that show was awesome too. Um, reason. 21 Pilots headlined, of Monsters and Men was there, Paris was there, a lot of bands were there. But the day before that, I went and saw my friends in a band called Hardest. They're really great, you should check them out. And also the same night, Paris had another show around the corner, so I went and saw them as well. That was a pretty good night. Question three, what's the farthest you'd travel for a show? Is this a question asking how much I would travel for a show? Because I'd travel around the world if the Spice Girls got back together and played shows only on the other side of the globe. That's, that's a different story. But how far have I traveled for a show? Well, one time I flew from Pennsylvania to Florida to see Red Jumpsuit on my own time and dime, stayed for a day, and then flew back up. That happened. Question four. What is your craziest concert experience? Oh god, I've been to so many. I don't... The craziest? Oh, okay. Well, I guess if it happened to me, one of the craziest things um, was a couple of weeks ago I did that video about being on stage with New Find Glory. That was pretty crazy. That doesn't happen every day. So if you missed that video, you can watch that here. Yeah, that's probably my craziest story. Although, actually, I'll tell this story real quick. When I went and saw Bring Me the Horizon a couple months ago, there was this girl who got, like, punched in the nose in the mosh pit, and um, I was saying goodbye halfway through their set to a friend of mine who had to leave early. As I'm walking out, I saw the first aid tent, and they were, like, trying to patch this girl up, but, like, literally, like, a waterfall of blood is gushing out of this little girl's nose. She couldn't have been more than, like, 14 or 15 years old. She's on the phone with her mom. No, I'm totally good. You don't have to pick me up. I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> I'm totally fine. They're gonna patch me up. It's gonna be awesome. And I was like, that's a f***ing trooper. That girl's awesome. Life goals. Bleeding nose. On phone with mom. I'm fine. Going back to show after broken nose. Well done. Question five. Were you ever lucky enough to meet bands before or after a show excluding meet and greet? Yeah. I, man, I don't know. I've lost count. I've lost, I've met so many bands before and after shows. And yes, that's a part of my job because I tour with other bands. But I mean, even when I was doing it on my own time and dime, before I even started working for Red Jumpsuit, I met Rise Against by myself. I met Red Jumpsuit by myself. I met New Found Glory by myself. Uh, that's all the top three I can think of off the top of my head. Would you, have you ever bought VIP meet and greet? I don't think I've ever purchased meet and greet, but again, if the Spice Girls ever tour and there isn't like an option to meet them on your own, then obviously I'd buy meet and greet because I'd meet a photo with all five. That's pretty much the only thing I'd buy meet and greet for. Everybody else that I've ever wanted to meet, I have already, and the small handful of people I still wanna meet, I'll eventually will. But I won't need to buy like VIP to meet them. Like I'll, not to sound conceited, I'll, I'll figure out a way to meet them without having to like, just to meet them on like industry terms instead of- <laughs> Terms. What do you wear to concerts? Typically, if it's a band I've already seen, I'll wear the shirt I bought the last time and just black skinny jeans. But if it's a band I haven't seen, just any random concert tee, just any random band tee and black skinny jeans. I mean, <laughs> that's what I wear to shows. Question eight. What's the next show you're going to? There's a lot of shows stacked. Let's just go over them. First we have the Three-Headed Monster, which is going to be Hawthorne Heights, Mest, and the Ataris. Also with handguns for main support. Holy shit, three of my all-time favorite pop punk slash post-hardcore bands all together. That's an amazing show. I've never seen Mest. They're one of the bands I've always wanted to see, and they're going on tour with my friends in Hawthorne Heights, and I've already seen the Ataris once, but I would kill to see them again. Definitely gonna be attending that show. The second one is New Found Glory. They're doing a full Florida tour. I think it's like nine shows all in Florida leading up to Parahoy. The third concert is gonna be even more incredible. I mean, the first two are already really good, but State Champs, Neck Deep, are co-headlining on tour with Knuckle Puck. Holy shit, Dream Tour. That's amazing. Totally going to that. Kind of feel bad for Hannah that it's not coming to Pittsburgh, but I'll send you all the Snapchats. 
Another show I want to talk about is uh, actually in March, and it's the co-headlining tour with Set It Off and Tonight Alive, but there are two bands that I absolutely love. I've watched Set It Off grow up the last four years, and the same with Tonight Alive. They've really, really grown up the last couple of years, and the newest record that they're putting out that they already have three singles out called Limitless. It's incredible. It's totally different from anything they've ever done. Produced by David Bendith, and he just brought out the best in them, and this record is everything they've always wanted to be. So definitely check out Limitless, and definitely go to that show stacked first quarter of 2016 I'm ready are you question nine have you ever would you ever crowd surf or stage dive I crowd surf all the time it's one of my favorite things to do I've never been dropped knock on wood and I've only stage dove eh, maybe like five or six times question ten how many concerts do you attend every year on average oh god I don't know like a hundred maybe like 120 Something like that. That's not like exaggerating. A lot of that is my job, obviously, but on my own time and time, I probably attend 30. Yeah, probably about 30 or so a year, just me, like with friends and not for, for work. Yeah, I go to a lot of shows. I can't hear shit. Question 11, how many concert shirts have you collected? 110 or something like that, and like 30 of those are jumpsuit shirts, something like that. I forget, it's a lot, I have a lot. Every time I go to a show, I always buy a t-shirt, and you should too, because every $20 gets a band another 100 miles down the road if you do the math. Yeah, the ticket purchase, they get a percentage of, but if you buy merch, that goes directly cash in hand to the band and always gets them further down the road. So if you are one of those people who complain about a band not coming back enough, buy more merch. That's how they get their gas cash to come back, man. Everybody's always like, oh, I'm a broke college student and stuff, but it's really just like, manage your priorities. If you want to get a shirt at a show and you're one of those people that's always like, oh, I never have enough money, skip something. If you decided for some reason to splurge on buying McDonald's every day that week or Starbucks every day that week, skip a couple days. Maybe pack your lunch or make your own coffee. It's cheaper anyways. Save that money and then all of a sudden, boom, at the end of the week, you've got an extra 20 bucks in hand or $25 in hand or quit drinking or quit smoking. So you'd be surprised how fast that adds up. Anyways, at the end of that week, you've got an extra $25 in your hand, boom. T-shirt, is it really that hard? Adult, be adult, be adult. Question 12, what festivals have you been to and which ones would you like to go to? Um, I've been to a million festivals. I've been to South by So What in Texas. I've been to Warp Tour all over the States. I've attended the two big shows that they have here in Jacksonville every year. One is called The Big Ticket and that's always in the winter. And one is called Welcome to Rockville. That's always in the summer and or spring. I've attended a million festivals. I continue to go to them because it's a great way to see a bunch of bands that you already love and also get into new bands because a great way to get into a new band is just to see them live because you fall in love with either the crowd or their performance or one or the other. I fall in love with bands that way. People told me about Let Live for years and years and years and they were like, you need to get in this band. And when I spun the record, it was a little too heavy for me at first. But after seeing them live for the first time, I was like, holy shit, I can't believe this band. Jason Butler has the most passion I've ever seen on, on stage than anybody else I've ever seen perform live. And I just like need to support that guy because that's a dude you want making music. Someone who actually cares so much that he cries when, when thanking the crowd for attending the show. Come on, give that dude some money. Buy his record, it's awesome. Question 13, have you ever been front row? Ugh, please, come on. Growing up, I used to have this rule with my friends. It was pit or bust. That was the only rule. You either got front row and or pit, or you didn't go to the show at all. I've been front row for pretty much every single show I've ever attended. Question 14. Name a band or artist you haven't seen live yet, but really want to. Okay, this is pretty easy. I still want to see Mess. Mess is coming through in March slash February, so I'll get to see them. And uh, Sum 41, I'm not sure when they're coming through, but I can't wait to see them live. I've been a fan of that band for at least 15, 16 years. It would be great to finally see them because they're absolutely one of my favorites. Question 15. Favorite concert you've been to and why? Okay, I have two favorite concerts of all time. Obviously, the first one is that New Found Glory show where they dragged me up on stage. That was pretty sweet. And the second is I saw Brand New in Atlantic City for New Year's Eve. I think it was for 2010, 2011, the switchover. They had no opening act. They played for three hours. The first hour, they just played an acoustic set. That was really rad. And then the second hour, they played their entire first record, Your Favorite Weapon. All 10 tracks, all the way through. That was really great. They've never done that before. And then the ball dropped for New Year's. Champagne, balloons, confetti, everyone's making out. The last hour, which we thought they were done after playing for two hours straight, they came out and played nothing but Fen Requests. You could barely hear the band because every single person in that room was singing every single word to every single song so loud that the band was almost obsolete. That's how much passion was in that room. I was in tears at that show, man. There was just so much love in that room. Everybody loves that band. I think I was like eight hours early for that show and easily like the 150th person in line. Easily one of the best shows I've ever seen. And until that New Find Glory show came along, it was impossible 
to be. I, I wouldn't say it was better than, I'd say it was equal to. Okay, that's it for my concert tag video. Please go ahead and check out Hannah's channel because she's been tagging me in a bunch of these videos lately and it's the reason that I've been making videos for you. No, well, a little bit lazy. I've been a little bit lazy. I've also been a little bit busy, but I always try to make time for the, the tag videos that Hannah tags me in. So check out her channel. If you like me, you'll love her because she talks about the same kind of music that I do and she makes content a lot more regular than I do. <laughs> this is a tag video, so I have to tag some people. Let's see, concert tags. Obviously, I'm gonna tag my best friend, Kay. Yeah, that's it, that's all I'm tagging. Cool, I'll tag you. Why don't you you guys do it too? Because this is a pretty cool tag that Hannah came up with, and I think it's rad, because we all attend concerts, we all love bands, we all love music, and everybody has a different experience for every show, and these questions apply to all of that, and not just a specific genre of music, which I think is really great about that. Thanks, Hannah. One last thing I wanna talk about before I go is I just opened up my brand new online print store. So for those of you who have been supporting my concert photography for years now, I finally have brought it home to you. So you can own your very own JC Picks print. I have nine up for sale right now, but if you're not happy with any of those, all you have to do is screenshot a copy of one of the photos that I've taken that you like, and then I can sell you that. You can just go to my website, which is right here, or I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is also one of those things you can, you know, bring to shows. You're like, oh, my friend Justin took this photo of you, or this guy I know named Justin took this photo of you, and I would like you to sign it. So it's one of those things that I like to provide for people because they like my shots, and you can own them now too. I saw Paris recently. I was able to get my print of Lynn signed by her. So that was pretty cool. No, it's not for sale. This is from my personal collection. So if you're a fan of any of the following nine bands, All Time Low, Beartooth, Bring Me the Horizon, Issues, Let Live, Newfound Glory, Pierce the Veil, Paris, or Yellow Card, you can officially buy a shot of one of those taken by me on my print store. So um, check that out, please. And thanks again for hanging out. I really uh, have appreciated your support over the last couple of years in making these videos and taking photos all around the world. So you continue to support me and I'll continue to support you. That's how we roll. Thanks a lot, guys. Keep calm, spice up your life. They were playing with Paris and Issues and... Shit, what was the other band?